I really need a shag. And I really need a doctor with a loft department. How long till we're 50? 23 years. Perhaps you could put it forward a bit, like get married when we're 40. Why? Just because we're getting married doesn't mean your life's gonna be any less miserable. You still have to bring me my slippers every morning. In your mouth. Actually, let's forget the marriage thing. I'm gonna save yourself up for a meaningless shag. No, don't worry about it. You're not so bad looking. Chances are you'll find someone who'll fuck you before you're 40. Oh, thanks! My pleasure. <sighs> wish I fancied you. And I wish you were a bloke. Pretend I am. What? Pretend I'm the man of your dreams. You haven't got one of those grey courtroom wigs you can put on, have you? Just give it a go and I'll pretend I fancy you. Okay. Oh, that was revolting. Mm. Well, can't be as revolting for you as it was for me. You're sure used to snogging men. I had to snog a woman. I thought she was having a fit or something. <laughs> you sure she wasn't? Sounds like it might have been food poisoning to me. No, it wasn't. I just, you know, hit the spot. I don't know much about women, but I'm not sure you're supposed to hit it. <sighs> it was like her whole body had been taken over by the experience. Did her head start to rotate? Just the same nice, sweet girl you brought into the office. You should have seen the look on her face. Well, she'd probably swallowed her tongue. But then, the most incredible thing happened. She started to make this amazing whistling noise, only it didn't come from her mouth. <laughs> do you think you might have punctured her? What do you mean? Do you think Katie might be inflatable? Well, it would explain a lot. 72% of exercise videos are bought by men. Are you sure that's right? The figures never lie. Except when they're added up wrong. But they're intended for women, so why so many men? Well, it's probably because men are too stupid to realise you only watch an exercise video once. I think you'll find they watch them more than once, but it's one muscle they're exercising in particular. That sounded like the voice of experience to me. Do you think the manufacturers know that's why men buy them? Why do you think they give them those plastic easy wipe covers? Remind me never to kiss you again. <laughs> you kissed each other. So? When? Last night. How drunk were you? Neither of us has had a shag in weeks. We're both gagging for it. I thought we might be able to kill two birds with one stone and save money on tissues and AAA batteries at the same time. Really? That drunk? I can understand you kissing him, but why would you want to kiss her? You're gay. That's exactly what I said, so it was more revolting for me. You never know. One of us might have liked it. People have been known to, to turn. Turn? To turn as in to change their sexuality, to start playing for the other side. To take up eating meat instead of fish. I really must have been drunk. I'm sorry, but you can't change someone's sexuality by kissing them. People are either straight or bent. That's not true. Apparently, the straighter they say they are, the easier they bend. Sometimes all it takes is one little touch in the right place. And I've had loads of gay men begging me to sort them out. What? The ones who didn't scream when the lights came up and it turned out that was a skin condition, not five o'clock shadow? <laughs> all right, put it like this. Have either of you ever actually turned anyone? Oh, there was this guy at college once. He studied geography. I really fancied him. He had this enormous, great Adam's apple. I mean, it was the size of a... Oh, well, I suppose that's why they call them Adam's apples. Anyway, he was going up with this friend of mine, but I got really pissed one night and I stuck my tongue down his throat. And the next day, he changed to history of art. All right, let's put it on the list then. Turn someone. There's no way I'm going to try and put some gay man off gay sex. Oh, what a pity. I'm sure you'd have been really good at it. You could go the other way, of course. Can you finish those? Do you think you can put them in the envelope? Yeah. You'll need to address them. Um, and the next time you have the photocopy, could you just run off 16 beads? No. What? Celia and Nadia are not lesbians. Are you sure? 
I think they might have one of those master servant things going on. I really think you'd have better luck with a bearded cleaning lady. Everything okay? What? Oh, yes, it's fine. It's fine. I just remembered. Rich gave me an exercise video last Christmas. So? Well, either way you look at it, it's not a compliment, is it? Either he wanted a road test their easy wipe covers, or he thought my body needed a complete overhaul. Zoe, there's only one way to look at it. He's a crap Christmas gift purchaser. Personally, I'd have been more upset by the foot spa. You are rid of him. Well, almost rid of him. What the fuck is he doing? Looking for lesbians. Davina would like to remind staff that this evening's pleasure hunt begins in the White Hart at 7 o'clock this evening. Thank you. Pleasure hunt? What, because that sounds a bit like treasure hunt? That's supposed to be funny, is it? Does she really think anybody could possibly get any pleasure from traipsing around a succession of sado-infested wine bottles? Or that because of this, the next time the company tries to shaft us with a bag of balloons as a Christmas bonus, we're all going to like each other so much we're not going to burn the building down. I hope you don't expect me to answer those questions, because if you do, I'm afraid you're going to have to repeat them. I was concentrating more on avoiding a spittle. May I sit here? Or do you two young lovebirds want to be left alone so you can whisper sweet nothing? Just sit down. So... Changed anyone's dietary habits yet? Not yet. How about you? Persuaded anyone into less sensible footwear? Not yet. Well, don't give up. I'm sure you'll turn someone in the end. In fact, you're already beginning to put me off men. How about having a crack at Humpty? Humpty's not gay. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He gave me a funny look in the staff toilets once. Everyone gives you a funny look in the staff toilets. You stand far too close to the urinal. Well, that's because there are so many gay people in this building. Mm, trust me, he's not gay. No, he's definitely straight. Well, how can you be so sure? You can just tell. Yeah, you've got a feeling for these things. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell me where the toilets are. You do work here, don't you? OK. Well, go on, then. Straight or gay? OK, so there are a few exceptions, that being one of them, but 99% of the time you can tell. Straight. Yep. Gay. gay. Straight. Straight. Well, go on, then. He's hideous. If I wanted to have sex with someone like him, I'd go on a, a whole season's holiday. Yeah, but he'd be easy. You can't be getting any heterosexual action with a face like that. Gay. Yeah. And he's got a solid line of hair stretching down his backbone from his head to his arse. But like being in bed with a badger. All right. So you wanted to turn him. How would you go about it? I'd say come back to my set. I've got a jumbo jar of Imac with your name on it. No, seriously. Oh, you mean if the women have arseholes, two line doesn't work? I suppose I'd try and be convincing about how much more enjoyable sleeping with a woman is. Women are, are gentler, smoother, nicer natured, bendier than men, and their inner recesses are moister. Hey, I don't need any convincing. Yeah, you want to be careful saying things like that. You'll talk yourself into becoming a lesbian. If you were a lesbian, then I could, uh... Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Who the fuck was that? Whoever he was, he was gorgeous. You're telling me? Yeah, but is he gay or straight? Straight, obviously. What? He's so obviously gay. Look at the way he walks. Well, you mean any gay people use alternating legs? Look at the way he dresses. Exactly. No, look at his socks. His boyfriend must have dressed him. He's so straight. But not for long. Hey, where are you going? Come back, he's Mike. He works here. On our floor. Has that office always been there? What do you think the G stands for? He looks like a Gary to me. He must be straight then. What? Gary's such a gay name. In fact, it is gay, just with an extra R. If you ask me, he looks more like a Gavin. Oh, what? Well, there are no gay people called Gavin. Name one. Ah, oh, that was a trick question, wasn't it? There's no one called Gavin. 
I've got a letter in reception for someone called Gary. Actually, this handwriting is really terrible. Perhaps it's Gary. Or, or maybe Graham? That could be an E. Jeff? George? Oh, sorry, it's upside down. Gordon? Have you seen the new bloke? In the office that never used to be there. You mean Glenn? He joined last week. Why? Has he done something? Mr. Gorgeous moves in next door and you don't bother to tell us. Don't suppose you know anything about his sexuality? Of course. That's the first thing I asked him. After whether his work colleagues were making him feel at ease in his new job. We really need to find out. You've spoken to him. You must have picked up something. He takes sugar in his tea. But I don't think you can read too much into that. And I'm sure if you could, the Sugar Marketing Board would pay you for the information. Well, maybe you would have picked up something if you didn't spend half your life on the phone to your ex-husband. Yeah. You want to start taking out those extended warranties on your white goods. You mean Glenn? How do you know his name? I've been doing a little research of my own, and I'll tell you something else. He's straight. What? How do you know? We had a conversation about drag racing in the toilets. He talked to you about drag racing? No, I talked to him about drag racing. You started a conversation about drag racing in the toilets. No wonder people look at you strangely in there. Point is, he likes drag racing. So he can't be gay. So he's mine. Oh, well, because he likes drag racing. Hi. I thought you might like to meet Glenn. I don't know if you'd noticed, but uh, he's just moved in down the hall. I believe you've already met Dominic. And this is Conrad and Shona. Well... Anyone got any questions? Actually, I have got a question. <clears throat> We're compiling some data on exercise videos at the moment, and you pretty much represent our target market. So I was wondering if I could ask you, if you had to choose an exercise video, would you choose Tracy Shaw's Salsa Size? Or Mr. Motivator's Bums, Legs and Tums? Um, to be honest, I'm not really into exercise videos. Yes, but if you had to choose one? I really would never buy... Or someone was going to park a bus on your head and crush it like an egg. Well, if I had to choose between an exercise video or having someone park a bus on my head, then, I don't know, I think Vanessa Feltz does one that might be a laugh in a weeble wobbles but it never falls down kind of way. Do you uh, go to school around here? No. Well, did you go to an all-girls school? No. Okay, then. Well, would you have liked to have done? You know, one of those ones run by nuns, or perhaps even a boarding school, where you'd play games together all day, and then in the evening... All menstruate at the same time? No. You ever been to Greece? What? No. Not even the Greek islands? Nope. Have you ever had sex with Celia, then? Do you want to know the truth? Only in your grubby little dreams. Touched a nerve, did I? Conrad used to have a Vanessa Feltz pillowcase and duvet set. Straight people like Vanessa Feltz too. Yeah, well, there's no way Glenn's straight. He gives that no signals at all. Maybe he just doesn't fancy you. That's irrelevant. Heterosexual men like to give out signals anyhow. They like to be fancied. It boosts their ego. It doesn't matter who by. They only stop giving out signals if you're ugly as a fucking troll. Oh, shit. Get down. Oh, he's here too. Don't look at them. Just because we're not looking at them doesn't mean they can't see us. Well, if we keep our heads down, maybe they won't recognise us. What, under our clever stooped-over-the-table disguises? They've gone. Not all of them. <gasps> Gorgeous and no company loyalty. My dream man. No, my dream man. Why don't you just ask him? 
whether he's straight or gay. You can't just ask someone. Why not? That's far too simple. He might still be struggling with his sexual identity. Lots of straight men tell Shona they're gay. It's kind of a survival instinct. Well, there must be some way of finding out. Something you could ask him. Which does he prefer? Channel 4 News or ITV? ITV, straight, Channel 4, gay. Oh, I've got it. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Oh, did they run off when you were in the toilet? Afraid so. My hands are like prunes. I've been washing them so long. Do you mind if I ask you a question? If I say I do, will you park a bus on my head? Maybe. No, of course I don't mind. I was just wondering, um... What's your favourite song from Cabaret? What's my favourite song from Cabaret? Yes. Are you trying to find out if I'm gay? <laughs> what? No, of course not. I, I was just wondering what your favourite song from Cabaret was. It's just that we're, we're doing a survey for a, a bowler hat manufacturer and I thought seeing as you were someone who liked Vanessa Feltz that you would know Cabaret. I'm straight. Okay? Okay, of course that's okay. Uh, good for you. <laughs> I really wasn't... You shouldn't take things so personally. It was, it was just a survey. <laughs> Do you want to join us for, for a drink? No, thanks. I'll miss my train. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Well? Straight. Bingo. So now you know he's straight, how are you planning to, uh... You know, bend him. Strap a pair of plastic tits to your back and hope he's too drunk to notice the difference. First off, I'll probably look him in the eye, ask him whether he's ever thought it might be nice to live in a world where sex was available whenever he wanted it. Where you'd never have to experience guilt again. You never have to pretend you'd shag someone because they had a great sense of humour. Where sex was just pure physical pleasure with no strings attached. Morning. Morning. Oh no, please don't eat me. Eat the great big billy goat gruff instead. <laughs> you know, the story of the three billy goats gruff. Going trip, trip, trop over the bridge. And the troll? Oh, I see. You're saying I must be ugly as a troll because Glenn's straight and he gave out no signals in my direction. It's actually very funny, Dominic. Hurtful, but very funny. Oh, come on. You would have made the same joke if the situations were reversed. Anyhow, you never know. Maybe Glenn was sending out signals in your direction, only they couldn't be heard by dogs. I'm really not in the mood for this. I'm gonna go and kill myself. Morning. Morning. Look, sorry if I acted a bit strangely last night. Please don't take it personally. It's just Comrade and I have been having a bit of an argument recently and somehow you bore a bit of the brunt of it. Don't worry about it. it must be difficult working and living together. What? You think me and Comrade live together? Well, that's what Zoe told me. <laughs> yeah, but not like that. Comrade's gay. Oh, thank God. I mean, I didn't want to have to be the one to have to break it to you. So, I've had the official tour from Zoe. How about the unofficial tour? You know, the gossip. Why does Dominic stand so close to the urinal? Ah, uh, Nadia and Celia donut bumpers. <laughs> the important stuff. 
you seen Glenn? No. Well, you'll have to do then. I'm not interested. Don't get excited. I just want someone to help me move a table. Thought it'd be a good bonding thing for me and Glenn. Men sweating together. <sighs> it's all right for you. Oh, I need to find a straight man. Which one shall I choose? It's so hard. There's so many. Ooh, that one's cute. Funny, isn't it? Because lesbians, by definition, have got really bad taste in men, so you think you do quite well. Have you ruled out the bearded cleaning lady? Not a lesbian, not a lady. Cleaning lady was just the job title, and he took it. Been casting your net wide. Fact. One in ten women is a lesbian. There are around 170 women in this company. Therefore, statistically, I should, right now, have my pick of 17 lesbians. Mmm, I think you'll find it's 0.75 of a woman in 10. Whatever. The point is, I've been around this whole company and there's not one. Maybe there's a drought. Maybe they're all on holiday together, <laughs> plaiting each other's armpit hair or something. Why did you tell Glenn that Comrade and I live together? Because you do. Wish me luck. Where are you going? To recruit a new team member. No, you can't. Yeah, but there's chat-up lines. Not that I, you know, fell for them. No, you can't because he's nice. I can see that. The only reason he wasn't giving out any signals was because Zoe told him you and I were going out. No, I didn't. Nice but dumb. I can handle that too. He's here for me. I asked him out on a date. I like him. He's like you, except without the Celine Dion record clutch. You asked him out? How could you? The deal was, if he was straight, he was mine. If he was gay, I wouldn't have hesitated to hand him over to you in your moist recesses. I don't see how we can ever be friends again after this. Please. I... I really like him. Oh, OK. I suppose you've gone four days longer without a shag than I have. No, you don't understand. I really like him. Fucking hell. Really? Really. Fucking hell! <laughs> I know. So I won't have to wear my earplugs tonight? No. We're gonna go and see a film. We might have a coffee after if there's time before his train. Coffee? Fucking hell! I know. And the most frightening thing is, I'm looking forward to it. Shit! Hey. If he's got a fucking loft apartment, I'm gonna kill you.